What started as an arrest of antique looters has led to one of the most important archaeological discoveries of the year. The Israel Antiquities Authority announced that a dig carried out to protect antiques against thieves has turned into a discovery of a Byzantine church that may be home to the tomb of the prophet Zachariah. The site was also used as an underground complex by Jewish revolutionaries in the first century CE. The identification of this church as being designated to the prophet Zechariah is an assumption. Mm -hmm. It's not a fact. Um, it's, it's an assumption based on very important scholars who came to this site and uh, um, based on the findings in Jordan of the Midba uh, mosaic, the Midba map. The new excavation at Horvat Midras, located 15 kilometers south of Beit Shemesh, was identified as a Byzantine church active from the 5th to 7th century before the region was conquered by Muslims. The mosaic on the church floor and the large white pillars can still be seen among the ruins. And a century after the church was abandoned, it was destroyed in an earthquake around 1749. Um, you can look and see that all of the walls, the columns, they all fell north. And you can see the, the movement of, of the construction, which is indicative of an of earthquake. The burial place of the prophet Zachariah was discovered by Christians in the early 5th century, and based on a document called the Madaba map recently found in Jordan, researchers believe that Zachariah's tomb is marked by this Khorbat Midras church. Um, we know that um, such a special building, such an important building that so much money was invested in back in antiquity um, has to uh, point to some kind of special significance uh, historically. The tomb can be reached by descending down ancient steps into a cavity underneath the floor of the church. And in addition to being a Byzantine church and the possible site of Zachariah's tomb, researchers are also claiming that the area was used as an underground complex for Jews revolting against the Romans in the year 66 CE and again during the Bar Kokhba revolt in the year 132. The fact uh, that points us to this assumption is that from one of the walls of the crypt um, um, leads a tunnel into this underground complex which basically uh, uh, develops underneath all of this church and most of this hill that you see to the south of us. The Israel Antiquities Authority has spent half a million shekels on the excavation to help protect it and make it available for the 150,000 tourists who come to see Chorbat Midras every year. Benjamin Spear reporting for the Jerusalem Post.